Hello guys and welcome back to Happy Freak Friends. I'm Chris X and we are playing again Fallout Shelter and this time I'm here with a new vault that I've created. I have already progress so I want to make a small review of my progress. We're gonna go through the stats and everything that I have already accomplished here. During this playthrough I managed to level up a lot of my shelters. I got already 99. I used to have even more, more than 100. But I've evicted a few of them because uh, my vault was too crowded and I had to fix it up from the beginning. So I had to destroy a few rooms and relocate them. So it would be nicely measured everything and the layout would be functional and easy to be surveilled. So without further ado we're gonna go from the beginning to the bottom and uh, through the stats. So first of all as you can see here, I have already created a few rooms that they match as much as possible. Because obviously it is hard to locate the rooms uh, as you please, so they will match. That's why I have created a few rooms in the beginning, then I had to destroy them and relocate them. So here we got the barracks all in one. Down here we got the warehouse, where I have my storage. And in the on the top we got a few power plants. We got a couple of cafeterias, of course the overseer's command center, which is one of the first rooms that you create. Some super reactors, two hospitals, all the crafting stations here, two water plants, one hydroponics and one purification plant. A couple of nuclear polar plants and down here we got the science center where I make my steam packs, sorry, my runaways. And the most important is that I placed all the stations where you gain your skills in order so they can match and they can create the word specials. So strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility and luck. So all together they make the word special. I think it's a very nice and compact 12th floor uh, built here, vault. It's very functional, very easy to surveil. Unbelievably easy after my adjustments. And I purely love it. I love it even more than my last uh, vault that I had, which was a little bit unorganized, if you remember. If you don't, I can put the link in the description, so you can give it a check. It was, of course, much better, because I got already acquired a lot, well, actually everything, in the previous vault that I had. I got the Platinum Trophy. Here, the only thing I need is to create a few more themes in order to finish with the Platinum here as well. Of course, I, I don't know exactly what I'm doing for the Platinum because I already got it, but I remember, because I've checked already my trophies, that the only thing that's missing is to uh, create a few more themes and everything is going to be finished again on 100%. So, let's go now through the stats. Of course, before we go through the stats, as you can see up there, we got already 60 Nuka-Cola Quantums. I've never, never bought Okay, there we have it, the copy and the bottle. We never, I never bought anything, anything. I have never bought any lunch boxes, any Nuka Colas, nothing. Nothing it's purchased is a zero percent money free. How can I name it? Vault. I've never purchased any of the boxes. The game was pretty generous through the bottle and copy. They they gave me so many, so many Nuka Cola Quantums. I finished the game, all the quests, and I actually saved already 60 Nuka Cola Quantums so I can continue uh, progressing this vault. Of course, I'm gonna continue the video after I will finish with Bottle and Cappy. Because I never lose a chance to get some more Nuka Cola Quantums, because there are always, as you can see here, there are always. Uh, new missions appear every day that they're very useful, so I'm gonna get for this uh, mission to get the lunchbox. I've already opened 95 lunchboxes that were given to me for free from the game through the missions and of course through settlers that I've sent to the wasteland. 
Anyways, Bordo and Cavi were not so generous this time. By financial aspect, I've got once again 1 million caps, the maximum. I've already ac accomplished this three times, I think. But of course, I've been uh, using the money to make improvements in the vault. Now, since we've been through all the main features and achievements, we're gonna go through the stats. As you can see, I got already a few uh, high-level settlers here. Many that they're already 50. I got some Heisenberg coming back from the wasteland. If you know what's Heisenberg from, you get the reference. If you're the f if you're a fan, you're gonna get the reference for sure. So let's go now through the stats. So in this vault, that is a very beautiful, beautifully designed, compact vault, 12 floors only, and I don't want any more because you totally lose the count afterwards, I got already 53 male settlers and 46 female. The average level uh, currently is 45.74, of course this changes all the time, and I'm sending one by one the settlers out uh, to the wasteland so I can get them up to level 50. Uh, I send them one by one because I don't want to bring so much rubbish back to the vault and selling them all the time. The power, food and water production are a lot, as you can see, more than what you actually need for the vault. I got 66 rare weapons, 36 legendary weapons, I already have 164 recipes. Rare outfits, currently I got 79, of course I'm keeping selling them because I don't need all of them, and 35 legendary. And the outfit recipes are already 118 and Heisenberg brings me the last one, the 119th. I'm already playing this vault for 100 hours, that's a lot, I opened 95 lunch boxes and I never purchased even one, I have already opened 16 pet carriers, I got a few pets that are useful, Other, uh, others are mostly junk. The most useful ones that I, I got are the ones that you return from Wasteland much faster. I used to have 111 settlers but I've evicted 12 of them and I have collected in total 2.5 million caps. So as you can understand, I was almost always on the peak with uh, 1 million caps. Of course all these are not very important, how much junk, pets, whatever you see here is not really important. If you want, uh, you can give it a check. Of course I will analyze the attacks that I've encountered through this uh, 100 hours. I've encountered 194 times uh, fire, which is the... well, I don't really like it, it's really boring, it doesn't give you anything, so yeah, there's that. I had 75 radio attacks, 61 deathclaw attacks, 57 feral ghoul attacks, 180 rat roach infestations, 100 rat, rat scorpion infestations, and 170 mole rat infestations. I've sent my settlers out to the wasteland for over 1,700 hours. And I have a lot of different pets, which we can see also through the stats uh, here. So I have already uh, 121 weapons, not the recipes, the actual ones. A lot of legendaries as well. Three Dragon Moles, I'm creating another one. And the MYRV, of course, and the rest of Fatman's. I get 93 outfits. A lot of legendaries as well. Pretty amazing. I really like it. I really like this game. It's one of the most wonderful games ever created. Of course, all junk. Yeah, okay, yeah, you know that. 27 pets. Most of them are junk, as I told you, the ones that are here in the beginning are most of the junk, but I'm just keeping them, I, don't, I, I never destroy, uh, I never sell the pets, I like keeping them. On one of my other vaults, I got also uh, dog meat, unfortunately here I was not lucky enough to get him. 
And I have also six uh, legendary dwellers, the Alistair Tenpenny, Amata, Moira Brown, Persian Garvey, Sarah Lion, and three Dog. The last three, of course, you get them from missions, which we're going to see next. I got some fire, so we're gonna solve that, and we're gonna come back with the rest of the video. As I mentioned before, Extinguishing fires is really boring, so thank god it finished. So back to the missions, but before the missions, let me show you also by statistics how much uh, power I have. Food and water. As you can see over there, it's 4,700 power, 1,500 uh, food and water as well. And the average rate of uh, the Vault Dweller's uh, level is going up so for the missions first of all i'm gonna send my main settler that i sent for these kind of missions uh to get me this beautiful lunch box so i'm gonna get chris which is my actual name preston garvey and sarah lion so get your S over there and bring me that lunchbox, please. Thank you very much. And a little bit more for the average to raise it higher and higher and higher. So, missions. Actually, I don't have any available missions. There are only the daily and the weekly. And the ones that I have completed, of course, I'm just gonna pass through of them one by one. I'm just gonna keep scrolling to the right to see how many I've already finished. And the list goes on and on and on and on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, I'm gonna pass through my vault. So here, power plants. Here are the barracks. Over here we got some cafeterias, the Overseas Command Center, couple of grand super reactors, two smaller ones. We got hospitals for our steam packs. We got the water treatment plants. Got one hydroponics, one purification plant. Here we have the storage rooms, the nuke coal plants, and the science center, and of course the skill uh, rooms where I place them in order to create the word special. And as uh, for my settlers, the lowest one currently is 37. Of course, I'm sending them one by one to level up, uh, to level them up up to 50. So I've got a lot that are already 50 levels. I've got many that are already on their 40s. Most of them are on their 40s, and only five that they are below. Well, already four. They're below 40 levels. Before somebody mentioned that I'm not leveling up a lot their stats, the most important is to level up the stat that is being used on the current station. So in power plants, of course, I put as priority to level up the strength. On the cafeterias and generally where they create food, the most important is the agility for intelligence. As you can understand, uh, the hospitals and uh, the science center. So, the most important here is intelligence. Here is endurance on the Nuka Cola power plants, and it goes accordingly to each room. Uh, so, that's why I never bother to level up a lot their other stats because I'm not really using them and they're not useful at all because I'm not sending them even to Wasteland. And when I'm sending them to Wasteland, I always give them a very cool and very powerful weapon like this MIRV that he's carrying right now, Eisenberg, and uh, a couple of other weapons that it's guaranteed that they're gonna come back at level uh, 50 even from level 1. They're gonna level up without dying. He even got uh, 13 more steam packs bringing back to the vault. He left from level 1 and he's coming back as level 50. So yeah, it's not really important to level up the rest of the skills that you're not going to use. You can keep the skills that are going to be useful. For example, this guy is coming back to be part of the science center. So obviously I'm going to raise his intelligence. 
And that's it. That was the video for today, guys. I hope you liked it. It's a very compact and very, very easily to be controlled vault. If you like, you can try it yourself. Of course, I had uh, a few mistakes, so that's why I had to destroy rooms, relocate them, uh, recreate them, upgrade them from the beginning, and etc. etc. But it's really a nice result. I love it. I don't want to go for another floor. I think I'm fine. 12 floors are enough, so you can. Uh, keep track of everything because otherwise if you're gonna go even lower you're gonna lose track and uh, your vault is gonna be too complicated and too annoying you cannot even keep track of the nuka copy and bottle anymore if it's too uh, too large so thank you guys very much for watching please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content and as always I was Chris X and I'll see you all next. Goodbye.